Hello and very welcome to part 2 of the CocoaPot user tutorial. In part 1 we installed all the dependencies, so we already did all the grunt work. And now in part 2 we are going to look at a simple example of building models using CocoaPot. So we will look at the APH SH example. Uh, this is already mentioned in the readme. So we will first go to the CocoaPot installation tutorial. We install it into the C folder, C CocoaPot. And then under examples, APH, here we have three files. So uh, this one is the one that we are going to look at. But first, I will run the example. So I open the terminal, I go into the uh, CocoaPot um, examples directory. And then first I will run the calculation. And in while this is running, I will explain all the steps that are needed to build a model. So I will just copy from the readme. First of all, this do it is a workflow um, manager that takes care of executing all the steps and also of the parallel parallelization. So the steps first, some configuration files are made, then a long straight helix is produced, then the alignment files for modeler are done, then an initial model is folded and then the initial model the folded model is refined so this n fold refers to the number of initial models so the folding simulations that are done and this n homology refers to the number of folding refinements so the number of models that are actually built equal n fold times n homology so in this case three and you see that these two are now run in parallel, and now this one is run as well. Uh, and of course, if you would like more, more models, we can change, for example, here two, two, three, and two, uh, two and three. And now additional models will be constructed. The ones that are already calculated will be left intact, which is indicated here by two dashes. So, now let's look at the files. Of course, now there are more files, but this one, make config, contains all the interesting information. So, here is the model name, the annotated sequence. So, this, this is one, called, called helix, and the other, this is a homodimer. And this APH short is the name of one segment. And here we specify that this is a pair and we also specify which crystal structure to use for this pair. The, all the building blocks are in CocoaPod building blocks, but if you make them in the subfolder, in the example subfolders, they, they will be looked they will be found as well. So, um, this is the main thing, and here this is just some boilerplate code that writes another file, some chim a Chimera coloring script, and a FASTA file. So, you can see here that a FASTA file was created with the full sequence, um, a Chimera file was created to color the uh, structures. And this Dodo file contains the steps needed to build the model. So it first runs the configuration, it makes a straight helix, creates an alignment, creates the initial models and the homology models. So what does this actually mean? 
we can first look at the initial straight helix that is created. So this is just a straight perfect helix that we can also color um, using the output that script that was done that was outputted in the first step. So we see two segments connected by a short linker. So in the next step, these two segments are brought together and they will form an anti-parallel dimer. So we can look at how this looks like. So these are the files that are output after the folding simulation. So in our case, there should be two models here. And you can see that there are two models and that they are basically very similar. Although you, if you notice that the helices are straight, they don't have the right colored colored orientation. So we can align them, and they are very similar. And of course, we can also look at the models. Uh, these are models after folding, so and fold two models. And we can also look at the models after the homology refinement. So you can see the two subdirectories were created, one for each folding run, and this folding run has three um, homology refinements. Each folding run has three homology refinements. So, um, and the names are given zero, three and something something so we can load them all at once in chimera and then we align them so very simple very similar only the linker has some flexibility which is something that we expected we can also color them. So now this is, is better uh, seeing what is part of the coiled coil and what is part of the linker. This is the linker and this is the coiled coil. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. In part three, we are going to look at the full tutorial on how to build arbitrary polyhedra from a geometry file.